So what is involved for a patient who's getting CAR T cell therapy, the patient journey or the patient experience? For a patient, it means that they will need to see a physician who hopefully or ideally is a physician uh, who is an uh, expert in their cancer type and also an expert about how to give CAR T therapy and manage CAR T cell therapy. The patient would then undergo multiple evaluations to see if they have a cancer type that is uh, eligible for treatment with CAR T and if they if their overall medical condition is good to go through CAR T cell therapy. Then the patient will have their white blood cells collected in a process called leukapheresis. After that, uh, the CAR T cells will be manufactured in a laboratory, and this can take anywhere from three to four weeks, depending on the type of technology that's used. So this is a time that the patient will need to be monitored closely in terms of what their cancer is doing and if they need additional treatment or management during that time. When the CAR T cells are manufactured and ready to be put back into the patient, the patient oftentimes will undergo an additional chemotherapy that we call lymphodepletion chemotherapy. So the intent of these chemotherapy is not necessarily to kill the tumors, but to change the immune environment in the body so that the CAR T cells are able to stay alive and be active against the cancer when it's infused. Then the patient received the CAR T cells through a IV infusion. After that though, the patient still needs to be monitored very closely by their CAR T physician and the team, oftentimes in the range of four to six weeks, depending on the side effect that they may experience. Now remember these are immune therapies, and so the effect of the CAR T cells killing the tumors will cause side effects related to that. A common one that we call is cytokine release syndrome, and neurologic symptoms are also very common. So it's very common that these patients may need care in the hospital during this time frame, and also very common that they may even need ICU level care. So this is where having a multidisciplinary team of experts who are not only the cancer doctors, but also the ICU team, the neurologists, cardiologists, infectious disease, specialists in all these areas to support the patient through this treatment period. Here at Mayo Clinic, we are one of the top cancer centers in the country, and we also have the highest number one specialties at any institution that's been consistently ranked by the US News and World Report. So this means that you'll only not be you'll see not only an expert in the cancer type, and an expert in CAR T cell therapy, but also the entire team that is managing the care would be the top specialist in the country. And this is why it's very important to seek the evaluation and care for CAR T therapy at a center that has been certified to give this treatment and have the experience and expertise for the care to enable the best experience and the best possible outcome.